The London Occupy movement held the first of three citizen tribunals today to establish if there is enough evidence to launch criminal proceedings against Tony Blair and his former government colleagues for going to war with Iraq. Chris Coverdell, a veteran anti-war campaigner who has spent years researching the relevant national and international law, presented his testimony to a four-man panel at the recently occupied Old Street Magistrates Court in East London. This is exactly what's needed. We need the opportunity for ordinary people to question what's been going on. At the moment, nobody is ever allowed to question what's going on. It's all kept to the government. And so this sort of model, the People's Tribunal, is something that we need to repeat and develop. And why do you think um, there's not been a trial up until now on, the, on this particular issue of um, genocide so that, or war crimes? <clears throat> I'm very clear that that's because of the corruption in our law enforcement authorities. They are in bed with our leaders and um, they are refusing to enforce the law. Even though they are paid by us to enforce the law, they're refusing to do so. That's why no one has been brought before a court. It's a chill cut inquiry, but it's obviously quite a set-up with no teeth. It's not actually really going to do much apart from make it sound like a big talking shop where they feel like they've had something, but they're not actually going to do anything about it. Um, a lot of work's been done behind the scenes on this over years, and uh, it is going to go to the Old Bailey or the uh, International Criminal Court or over to America, and I'm sure there are some pressure groups who will take up the bat and, and use the Proxmire Act to try and do Bush and... Um, you know, and Dick Cheney, uh, these are criminals that need to be brought to court and, and to trial and realise they can't carry on their crimes against humanity. You know, we, we need to stop the wars in order to start the repair of the planet and the environment. And do you see this sort of citizens' tribunal as a real model for the future to hold these people to account, to initiate holding these people to account if the government won't do it themselves? Uh, well, I think basically what it was billed as by the press team from here is uh, the court of public opinion. I think what we can do is present the evidence as we see it from experts and from people. Uh, that then goes out with the marvels of the modern internet to a whole range of other people. And public opinion is a very powerful thing. And when enough become, people become aware that there are these laws of war and that they have been broken, then it leads to steps that can actually be taken. If enough people put donations in and funds in and you know, barristers and lawyers, of which there have been quite a few coming to these meetings, take up the baton and push it towards the Old Bailey and push it towards the International Criminal Court uh, and say that they've all got to be equally applied. doesn't matter whether you're, you know, Yugoslavian dictator or a dictator in a Western country. You know, you, you can still be pulled up under the international laws of war. And, you know, they've got... If we want a peaceful future, this is where we, we you know, it, we, we've really got to campaign for it and make it happen. And I think it is effective because, you know, this will get syndicated. It's gone out on... Russia Today has gone out on Press TV, it's gone out in The Guardian, it's going out on live stream and the internet, you know, collectively tens of thousands, maybe hundreds of thousands, maybe millions through the Russian or the Iranian one are going to watch this and go, right, hold on a minute. And, and you know, it's going to go out to America through the Occupy movement and, you know, change is going to be created. That's good.